The Knicks lost to the Spurs 122 to 115 last night, and they're now 0 for 2 on their Texas trip. So let's check in and check up on the vibes of Knicks Nation from Anthony Isaacs of at Knicks Nation. Man, I listened to your uh, your post game show. You're a little, you sound a little sad, man. You're a little down. Uh, obviously, you, this is a game that we both were probably thinking the Knicks should win. I know they didn't have uh, Jalen Brunson or RJ, but what were your takeaways from the game last night? Well, Brandon, it seemed like that all those minutes from the Dallas game finally caught up to the New York Knicks last night. Um, they were just out hustled and out class in almost every area of the game, and it showed up in the box score. They were out rebounded by 10, and that's very uncharacteristic unchar of this New York Knicks team. They're a great rebounding team. And the Spurs just wanted it more. And all game, you can tell that the Knicks were tired. Obviously, you had career night from Emmanuel Quickly, 36 points from Emmanuel Quickly, also 40 plus points from Julius Randle. But it's unfortunate that the New York Knicks just lost again, especially to the Spurs team that were reeling at home. They're not a great home team. They're not a great team overall. And I get it, the Knicks are missing a few guys, but that's one of those games where you just have to will your way to a victory and it's just unfortunate that they couldn't come out with a dub. Yeah, they were kind of sluggish as well. I mean, Jalen, uh, 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 Julius Randle said that they didn't feel us from the start and then they had confidence. It's kind of, and he also goes on to say, like, it's kind of uh, hard to shut down a team, especially on their, on their home court. So during your post-game uh, show, post-game reaction last night, you said, or one of you guys said that, you think that Cam Reddish's time in New York is soon coming to an end. I see the smile on your face. Uh, why do you guys believe that? Um, it, the New York Knicks are just what they're showing us with their actions. You know, um, when you have a couple of guys down and your option is to go with Cam Reddish, I mean, your option is, excuse me, to go with Evan Fournier over Cam Reddish. That just gives me the inclination that you're maybe shopping Cam Reddish and you don't want to risk injury. Look, I don't, know pers I don't personally agree with it. But obviously, we, what we've seen of Cam Reddish, we, he can bring scoring to the table. He can bring defense. But the New York Knicks are showing us with their actions that they're not interested right now in playing Cam Reddish. And after I saw Tom Thibodeau go to Evan Fournier, I, was, I said to myself, look, the, Cam Reddish's time is over in New York, and we should just move on from it because it's, 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 a, it's a tricky situation. It, it really is because Cam Reddish is, an, is, a, is, a, is a great player. And he, he he can bring offense, defense, and it's just it's just over for him in New York. Oh, you said great, bro! Like you threw <laughs> we throwing the word great and goat around. Uh, uh, all right, uh, all right, I, but let's let's get to the present now. All right, eight straight wins. You know now they've dropped their last five and they've dropped down to the number eight seed in the East. You, I'm pretty sure covering this team, you've seen Knicks collapses before. You ready to hit the panic button, or you think they're going to figure this thing out? Uh, well, Brandon, like you said, it was just 10 days ago when we were excited about an eight-game winning streak from the New York Knicks. The NBA can be a cruel league, and in a blink of an eye, it is now five straight losses. I do think they can turn it around because in three of those five losses, they held leads late in the fourth quarter. Obviously, you had the Bulls game, the Raptors game, and the debacle in Dallas. Um, they ran into some terrible luck, I get it, and the injuries couldn't have come at a, more, a much more worse time. And when you're only playing nine guys, it's hard to sustain chemistry with the rest of the squad. So they just need to clean up some things, just go out there and win in Houston. Salvage this road trip, and hopefully the New York can bring some positives for this Knicks team because eight-game winning streak right now it just feels like a decade ago, and it quickly turned into a five-game losing streak. So just go out there in Houston, get a victory, and, and come back home. Things can happen fast in the New York minute, man, on and off the court. Anthony, thanks yes. for joining us, my man. Brandon, I appreciate you. Thank you.